with ever-evolving technology and new features being added all the time, you'll be faced with a lot of choices when you come to buying a new lawnmower. But understanding a few of the old school features will really help you to make the right choice for your lawn. First thing to think about is what the business end of your mower uses to do its job. The blade configuration. You'll find there are three different types of blade setups. Single or bar blade, dual blade and quad blade. Single bar blades are generally found on lower powered petrol machines as there's not as much grunt required to get them spinning and cutting. That's also why you'll find that they're the most common blade arrangement on battery powered mowers. They are very efficient at low power, but they're better suited to lawns without any potential hazards like lumps and bumps and tree roots because there's no give in the blades. Dual and quad blade setups have the blades evenly spaced around a disc. Dual blades are generally found on mowers with a lower engine capacity and on entry level machines. Now with dual and quad blades, look for blades that are described as being swing back. What will happen with these type of blades is that if you hit an obstruction in the lawn like a tree root or a rock, the blade will literally swing back out of the way, reducing the risk of damage to your blades and your engine. Quad blades are the cutting kings. You'll often find them on larger capacity and professional mowers. They'll provide a higher quality cut and are an important part of the mulching performance of mulch mowers. For a mulching mower to work efficiently without sacrificing power, it needs four blades to cut the lawn while it's also recutting clippings into fine pieces before they're blown back into the turf thatch. Decks are a very important part of a mower's capacity and performance. In fact, a mower's cutting capacity is defined by its deck width, but decks are about a lot more than just that. One deck related feature to look for is edge to edge cutting. In this arrangement, the outside edge of the wheels are aligned with the edge of the deck, so you can cut right up to walls and fences. Pressed steel decks tend to give a mower a lighter overall weight, making them easier to manage, especially if you ever have a need to lift and carry your machine. Lighter weight doesn't mean light duty. You'll find the pressed steel decks used on Victor mowers are thicker and more robust than on run-of-the-mill machines. A lawnmower with a cast alloy deck will be a little bit heavier, but they are more robust. You tend to find cast alloy decks on professional and top quality machines. Alloy decks are rust resistant too. This can be important if you regularly fertilise your lawn, if you live in a coastal area, or if you use bore water to irrigate your lawn. You've probably never given your mower's grass catcher much thought, but when you're looking for a new mower, you'll find there's a couple of different types that you'll encounter. Fabric catchers are found on a variety of mowers, including professional models. Airflow through a catcher is important while mowing, and with their open weave, fabric catchers have excellent breathability. They have the advantage of not bottoming out or dragging over bumps when you're mowing, because the bottom of the catcher just pushes up. They also take up less room in storage. Rigid plastic catchers are the type you'll find most often. Lightweight and durable with adjustable airflow, they're easy to clip onto the mower and with dual handles they're easy to empty too. Plastic catchers are a better choice if you're in a dusty area as you can adjust the vents and change the direction of any dusty output. And the last but very important considerations for any lawn mower you're looking at are its overall quality and safety. All Victor mowers don't just comply with Australian standards, they're fully certified under Australian safety standards scheme. Just look for the ticks on the box or on the discharge flap.